yesterday I went up to the uh, thrift store and they had a bunch of systems there uh, N64, Super Nintendo and uh, Nintendo um, the N64 was about $30 as was the uh, Super Nintendo and both of them were in really bad gross condition and uh, the Nintendo 2 was pretty nasty and that was $35 I'll show you a clip of uh, the Nintendo right now. I had my uh, cell phone, so that's all I had uh, on me at the time. Then I went back today, and um, they repriced the Nintendo. Did you guys hear about that news out of uh, Chicago? Um, there's a unique there, a thrift store. Um, and a worker there, this lady, she was going through some clothing and uh, a gun fell out of a sock and went off and killed her. She died. That's crazy. Sad. There's, there's a lot of risk involved when you're dealing with used merchandise. You know, you don't know where the hell this shit has been. Alright, well, I bought two things, spent a lot of money today. It wasn't 25% off. I got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, 2008, for $4 plus tax. And I'm not sure if I have this one yet. Uh, Wario Wear Smooth Moves, for $6 plus tax. So that's crazy. That's like. GameStop pricing right there. WarioWare Smooth Moves. I, um, I actually don't have that game, so the new one that I got today is going to be part of my collection. I have uh, Wario Land, uh, Wario Land Shaken, which is a decent game. And I got some stuff at GameStop. Um, Street Fighter X Tekken for $349 plus tax. Not $349, I'm sorry, $1349. Wish it was $349. And a game I never heard of before. It's a NIS America title, one of these uh, JRPGs for $449. Um, Phantom Brave We Meet Again. I saw some anime looking characters on it and I say, hey, what the hell? Is this like a Sakura Wars, So Long My Love? It sounds similar in the uh, artwork. Looks similar. If you know anything about that, let me know. And I also got uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of the Two Worlds for $13.49. It's about this much on eBay. Not sure if I should keep this because uh, they had a different version, like an ultimate version. And it's about double that price, maybe in the 30s. So what do you think? Today I bought a game on eBay after submitting an offer. And I got it for $25 shipped. It's a Japanese exclusive for the Dreamcast. It's called Napple Tail. That's right, Napple Tail. And I'll show it to you right now. It's a game called Napple Tail. Arzia in Dream in Daydream, and uh, there's a cover art right there. I got it um, for 25 shipped, so 22, 18, and then the, you know the shipping. It's a very interesting game. It's it's like an RPG platformer. I don't know how to, how to explain it. Um, it's totally in Japanese, and. Uh, um, I'm going to provide a link at the bottom. You can take a look at the, this review from these other guys. Um, their channel is kind of weird. Their, their channel is really retro. It looks like a classic game room from the 90s with uh, Mark Bustler and that other guy. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of game that I wish I can go back in time and ask Jew Wario to review. You know, I could definitely picture that guy um, giving one hell of a review of this game 
and I'll show it to you when I get it. It's it's interesting. Um, the review that I have down at the bottom or the the link, I don't think they give an accurate depiction or they don't have the enthusiasm. But when I, when I played it, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know. All right, um, I ordered a Dreamcast game from eBay, and it was a domestic uh, shipment. The game is called Napple Tail. I call it Naple Tail, but Napple Tail is what it's called. It doesn't have the back artwork, and uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. It's a pretty obscure title. <clears throat> I got this for $25 shipped. Very uncommon, not very popular, very rare. And it's the kind of game that I wish uh, Jew Wario had reviewed. <clears throat> and as with any uh, Dreamcast title, it's easily accessible if you know what I mean. I tried to play it today um, on my Dreamcast, an American version with a uh, swap disc, a boot disc, and I couldn't get it to, to run. So. Maybe I'll try some other method of playing it. Okay, this, this stuff came from the thrift source. <clears throat> this was uh, $3.99. There was no um, discount today. But the only reason I bought this is because it says it has a uh, Mario, Luigi, and the Princess in it sports game. Rayman, Raving Rabbits for the PS2. Another PS2 title, Pirates Legend of the Black Buccaneer. Burnout. Burnout 2, Point of Impact. And Kingdom Hearts, no manual on this one. And it's the uh, like the red version, Player's Choice, whatever they call it. And then for a dollar, I got another one of these guys. That's nice. That's nifty. And nothing's broken on it. It's just a little crusty. So I was happy about that. couple other things. I got this uh, GameCube power adapter for two dollars. It was a 50% off day. And uh, for another dollar, War Jets, the PS2, disc only. And dollar forty-nine World Cup soccer, some kind of soccer game. World Cup Soccer for Game Gear. Only reason I bought this is because it's a cartridge based game. And then another uh, $3. I got these two guys. Fred Couples Golf. There's a winner. Sports Trivia. Oh, yeah. I got those in New York actually in the Bronx. I went back to my hood. Went to a place called Book Off. Never talked about this place before. But uh, a guy that I always mention on my channel, he brought it up, so I went there. And uh, I found this for uh, $5. It comes with a little motion, whatever. And uh, Disney Party for five bucks. I think this is a 15 through uh, like twenty dollar game. That's it. Got some footage from the store if you want to take a look at that right now.
Just got another package from eBay. Paid about $30, $32, something like that. This is a, oh, this is good. It, he put this to protect it so when I open it, I don't scratch it. So it's a Dreamcast and it comes with a couple games. The Dreamcast is broken, so I'm gonna check it out. We got uh, Rayman 2, Sonic Adventure. I have this game already, but my uh, my disc is all scratched up. I still need the uh, artwork, the booklet. And Sonic Adventure 2. So there it is, the, uh, the deck. When I opened it, I heard some crunching noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in a bag. I don't want any critters. All right, I got it quarantined. Hopefully there's nothing in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put the box in a bag as well. So here's my original copy of Sonic Adventure that I got at the thrift store. It's the all-star version. I don't have a, a manual for it. And then I noticed that this one must be another original copy. It doesn't have uh, All-Star marked on it. And uh, this Rayman 2 is kind of beat up. Uh, has a crack over here and uh, it was really nasty. I don't know what the fuck people do with these games, man. It had like shit all over it. And the one game I cared about, um, Sonic 2, is in actually relatively good condition. So I just rubbed it down with some alcohol and... It's a nice addition to my collection. I just found one thing. I don't know if it's worth anything. It's a soundtrack from Ghost in the Shell. Is that game worth anything? I think it is. Anyway, this is a soundtrack. I hope it's real because they have a lot of bootleg crap in the thrift stores. Maybe I'll put it up on eBay. I don't know. Yeah, so I looked on eBay, and I, I didn't see too many of these on eBay. It's like, how do you gauge what the price is for this, the actual market value? I don't know, I got mine for a dollar, and um, I'm not sure. I, I hope it's real. It looks kind of weird. Maybe it's just old. What do you think? Have you seen this before? It's, it's for the, uh, goes along with the game Ghost in the Shell, I think for the PS1. If you know anything, let me know. I'm going to hold on to it for now.